want to someday start TMZ DC. Um, and, um, <laughs> uh, but. <laughs> I, I, and I, I have a passion for it, and I almost did it, and there were some circumstances that prevented me from doing it, but I'm going to do it someday. But the way I want to do it is not to just go in there and just start digging up dirt on Congress. I, I, I really think, I mean, I really think that <coughs> most people feel badly that they're not engaged in the political process because it's just too hard to understand and it's not user friendly. And everybody that publishes publishes for the, you know, inside the beltway. And there's got to be a way of getting people interested in politics um, where it's more user friendly. And I think if you can bring them in at a low level, where they just, and I'm really serious, if you can bring them in at a personality level, I mean, these guys make decisions on the fate of, of our lives, and so they matter. And there are enough, there really are enough interesting people there, and I'm not talking about the scandalous stuff, but fun things, interesting things about them that would engage people. And I've done some of these on the website and the TV show, and it works. It works in a huge way. It works. And if you can get people engaged in you know, something silly or simple about a congressman's life, then suddenly you know, they're going to listen to what that guy has to say because they have a connection with him. And you can then elevate the debate and elevate the content. And I, I would like to come in at a low level and do that and then see what happens. And then eventually, you know, you do get that big story and you put it in, and then it's kind of highbrow, lowbrow, which is kind of the way I try to program everything. I mean, uh, maybe I'm flattering myself by saying anything is highbrow, but, <laughs> but, but, but there's a space, <laughs> you know, between some of the things and other things. But um, that's, the, that's what I would love to do is to try and engage people at that base level and then get them involved and then program for outside the belt. I mean, do you know who, do you guys by chance know who Aaron Schock is? He's a congressman. Um, he's a congressman from Peoria. He actually took, um, he took uh, Obama's seat. And he's 28 years old, great looking guy. Um, and I, I, told, I told the dean this last night um, at dinner, but it, it was just a funny story. When I was really into doing this, he had just gotten elected. And um, I was, um, at the gym in, in Hawaii on vacation and I looked up at the screen and there was this guy and they said congressman-elect and I looked at him he's this great looking guy and it's congressman-elect and I thought I'm gonna make him the Brody Jenner of Capitol Hill <laughs> <laughs> and so I sent my congressman out I, my, my congress, I sent my <laughs> I, I sent my uh, cameraman out um, um, to his office and when he was walking across the street for a vote um, I had the guy walk up and say, so what does it feel like being the Brody Jenner of Capitol Hill? And he had no idea who Brody Jenner was. <laughs> and, and then we started asking him, is it hard meeting people? And we just kind of had fun with him. His press secretary called me ballistic, just ballistic, and said, how dare you? How could you do this? We have a protocol here. You can't just come in here. You have to set up an interview through me. He was furious. And I said, look, I said, I'm not going to have this conversation with you if you're going to scream at me, but I will say that in two days you're going to call me and you're going to apologize to me because you're going to see what this video does for your congressman and it will do more than anything he could do times 20 on C-SPAN or CNN or any place else because he will connect with people. So we put it on the TV show, put it on the website, then all the Chicago stations picked it up, CNN ran it, other places ran it. He called me up two days later and um, and then all of a sudden, Aaron thought, hmm, this is interesting. And so we went out and we got him again outside of C-SPAN, but this time he kind of knew we were coming. And he said, and we said, I'm a big Lincoln fan. And um, I've read a bunch of Lincoln books, and Lincoln was in great shape and he had great abs. So, <laughs> so, 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 we, so this, was, this was just about the time, this was just about the time that Obama had gone to Hawaii and had taken his shirt off and everybody was saying, oh, Obama's in good shape. So we went up to Aaron and said, on an, and an ab off, who's going to win, you or Obama? And he had something kind of funny to say, and then we threw Lincoln into the mix. And it was really pretty funny. And we put that out. And then people went crazy, because it was just different and fun. So then, somebody sends me a picture. 
and it's a picture of Aaron at a swimming pool um, without a shirt. And who knew? But the guy is just ripped. <laughs> And he is. And, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, I, that, that I picked this congressman, but it just turned out to be so. So I called his office, and I said, look, if you don't want me to run this, I won't run this. But this, this will be fun. And they said, look, go ahead and do it. And, well, they, they did features on him on the Today Show, Good Morning America, Reuters, CBS, Nightline, the Colbert Report, um, uh, um, The Daily Show. Uh, he became a star. And I, I had dinner with him about six, seven months ago. And I was in DC and I went to his office before we went to dinner and um, he was having a telephonic town hall. There were 10,000 people on the phone. So that's what I'm talking about. It's like it came in at a really low level, but they became interested in him. And they would get 30 people on this phone call before. He's a freshman congressman. And so that's why I think there's a way, I mean, it's, you know, everybody does the same thing the same way all the time. And if you look at it differently, people will laugh at you and they'll, they'll, they'll make fun of it and say it's frivolous and everything else. But there's a design to a lot of this stuff. And I think if you create that kind of interest that you would suddenly see way more interest in the political process. So abs turn into political involvement. <laughs> <laughs>